Welcome to Paradise Lost. It's, it's going to be a podcast that will uh, follow the uh, journey of my daughter, her husband, and her children, my grandchildren, up in Paradise, California, and to see their recovery from a devastating fire that wiped out 90 to 100 percent of the of the city and we still don't know how much of the city was destroyed but she lost her home uh, she grabbed her kids she thought uh, it was only going to be a temporary evacuation and the fire starting yesterday November 8th uh, swept through the town and destroyed all the schools the hospital police station the infrastructure the entire town so I'm going to document the months, the days, the months of the year to come on a chrono chronology of what occurs. I'm going to try to convince um, my daughter and her kids to take a phone call from me each day, keep me abreast of what's going on, and maybe turn this into a, a mini documentary podcast. But this is day one of the devastation. The fire is still out of control. And actually, I'm down here in Southern California where we're having uh, similar disasters. Malibu has been evacuated, Calabasas, uh, Westlake Village, uh, it started Rocky Peak yesterday. Uh, so it's a devastating fire down here in Southern Cal. The skies are blackened. In some areas it's dark as night because the, th thick, the smoke is so thick. But uh, so it's day one of the tragedy. I'm calling the series Paradise Lost. I was and my wife were considering moving up there and retiring because it is a gorgeous town and one day it will be again and so I was telling the daughter and the grandkids to look at the silver lining and in life you know life throws you some twists and turns and you have to look at the positive in everything and what I initially told them is you're gonna get a new home out of this you're gonna get new clothes a new computer everything will be new you're gonna make new friends you're gonna make uh, you know, you're going to move and rebuild the home and you're going to start fresh. But the past is the past. You can't change the fact that you lost everything in your fire. I myself lost uh, my home. Uh, my parents lost their home when I was nine years old. It burned uh, the house. The, feist, the, ha the fire started in my house. It was a log cabin and uh, it burned 10,000 acres up in Hillsburg, California. And it's devastating to lose everything. But What's important is if you don't lose your life, everything's, everything's good. So you always have to look on the bright side of every dark cloud. And there are, uh, they did have insurance. That's the bright side. They will start anew. You know, it's a shame that they lost a lot of pictures and a lot of mementos. But you get to start fresh. And this being day one, I want to instill upon them positive thinking. Because it's all about being positive. That's my movement, Be Positive, as if you've been listening to this channel. You've got to put in your head positive thoughts. Positive thoughts create positive actions. Negative thoughts create negative actions. The people that are saying, oh, I can't go on, I can't do this, and I can't do that, are, are going to suffer. Um, recently, a neighbor shot, her, shot herself in the head because she lost her job and she couldn't see the light at, at the end of the tunnel. And there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. But when you're thinking negative, you know, you can, you can cause death, as it did with her. You've got to think positive. There's 20,000 people relocated. There's, uh, what, 100,000 down in Los Angeles being relocated right now. Or 200,000, I forget the number. You know, it's just got to think positive. Things turn out as they should. Think, you can't change the past. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. And today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. You have to live every day, and it's going to be tough for her and the kids, but I'm going to try to help them through it with my positive thinking, and this is this will be uh, episode one of Paradise Lost, an introduction, an introduction to it, and hopefully I'll call, I'll talk to others that uh, and get their stories of what happened, and we'll we'll chronicle it in these podcasts, and uh, see what happens. So stay tuned for more of Paradise Lost. And I'm Monty Cook, a.k.a. Dr. Fantastic. And we'll see if we can keep people thinking positive after this cat catastrophe. Catastrophe. And it, was, it started from a uh, campfire, by, by the way. And they say it was, the fire moved at a rate of 
90 football fields per minute, which is kind of hard to can even conceive. But when you have a lot of dry timber and a lot of hot smoke and some wind, and a lot of hot flames and, tip, and wind, it will create a, a, a catastrophe, which it did. So stay tuned and try to be fantastic all the time.